I'm pretty sure you know what a hotel is, but many people don't know what Airbnb is. Well, Airbnb is where you can rent someone else's houses and stay in it instead of staying at a hotel. And I'm gonna be sharing why hotels are better than Airbnb. I'm going to be talking to you about why hotels are still beating out Airbnb and how some really smart entrepreneurs are really trying to compete with Airbnb, but where many of the Airbnbs are still falling off. So the number one reason that hotels are better than Airbnb is that hotels are regulated. Hotels have been regulated by the government, cities, municipalities for a very long time. There's many regulations for safety, for fire hazards, for exits, for you know the safety of the guests. And in many cases, properties on Airbnb, they don't have those same regulations. So hotels actually have a lot of standards and regulations and they have third parties that come in to make sure that they are clean, that they are safe, so that they are meeting the standards to keep their hospitality license. Hotels, again, are licensed through regulatory bodies by the state, by the city, by municipalities. They have standards and that people come in and check those standards to make sure that the hotels are meeting them. Airbnb, on the other hand, does not have that. Airbnbs are people properties. They are normal residents. They are just your average public person out there. They have a property. They've decided, okay, you can stay at my property for a fee. These people do not have the same regulations, laws, or people governing them to make sure that they are doing the things that they need to do and they are meeting the standards of the industry. In fact, Airbnbs don't necessarily have a standard like hotels. The great thing about hotels over Airbnbs, hotel rooms are rarely ever canceled, okay? I know many of people that have booked an Airbnb and right before they were supposed to go to their Airbnb, their reservation was canceled or they showed up to the property and it was not ready. The person had not cleaned it. They had not done what they were supposed to. The beds weren't made, whatever the situation, it did not meet standards and they had to cancel their reservation. In the hotel business, reservations are rarely canceled. Reservations are rarely double book because hotels have such a wide network. You know, many of them are chains. They may be able to just put you in another property, for example, as where a regular Airbnb owner may not have that. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret at the end on how you can get past that. But that is another reason why hotels are still kind of winning out over Airbnb. Number three, hotels, generally speaking, are clean. Hotels, like I said, have a standard. They have a cleaning staff. They have maid service. They are generally clean. You rarely go to a hotel or a motel and it is just filthy where, you know, the sheets haven't been cleaned or the beds haven't been made or whatever you call clean. In a hotel situation or a motel situation, most of the time, generally speaking, the room is clean. They have a business model and they have a cleaning staff that cleans the properties for them very reliably and to a very certain standard. Now, with Airbnb, we may not have that situation. Again, we have regular people that may be cleaning the properties themselves or hiring outside parties to clean their property, and the results may vary. So that's another reason why hotels are, in many cases, are outperforming Airbnbs. But we're gonna talk about how you can compete with the hotels as an Airbnb owner, because there's some great opportunities here with those three things that I just named. So how can we compete as an Airbnb owner with these standards that hotels have that not all Airbnbs have? Well, I'm gonna tell you the secret. I just told you why hotels are better than Airbnb, generally speaking. Well, hotels, they have standards. Well, you can have standards at your Airbnb. What's another thing that makes them better? Well, people rarely cancel their hotel reservation. As an Airbnb host, you should really work hard not to cancel your reservations. You need to be just as reliable as a hotel so that people trust in the Airbnb platform and they trust in you. Additionally, oh my gosh, Airbnb has decided they really want to take on hotel chains. So guess what they have done? Da, 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 da. If you, as an Airbnb host, for any reason, you're not able to keep that reservation and you need to cancel at the last minute, 
I had this. I had another guest that ruined the floor. In fact, their child had spilled something and I think it was poop on the carpet and we had to get that cleaned. And so the property was not ready for the next guest and I didn't find out until the last minute and I had people coming in. So one of the things that Airbnb has implemented and that is really helping both the host and the guests is they have a program where they can find you another Airbnb and they don't charge the guests more money. Okay, so this is an awesome program where Airbnb is leveraging that they have tons of hosts and they too are growing and they too have a network and they too can be more reliable than just one single Airbnb host. So Airbnb has really worked to fix that problem because they have multiple hosts and they offer you a different place to stay if you need it. So the key to this is that if you can start to think like a hotel and not like just an Airbnb host, then you too can compete with hotels and your business will be just as good as a hotel business. You need to make sure that your properties are clean, safe, and reliable. You do not want to cancel your listings. You wanna make sure that the property is sparkling clean for every guest before they get there. You wanna have some extra little amenities, make sure you're fully stocked. We have clean sheets, clean towels, toilet tissue for them, and you make their stay an incredible five-star stay treat it the same way that Hilton treats their business. Okay, so that wraps up why Airbnbs are worse than hotels. No, 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 no. Right now, hotels are winning out over Airbnb, but not for long. If you follow those steps, you too can have a successful Airbnb business. So to help you out, I've posted below a link to a free Airbnb success blueprint. It's going to give you the steps that you need to use so that you can have a successful Airbnb business, be a successful host, and make millions of dollars like me and my friends do. So this is for you and to your success.